Good morning to you, Mark. You won how much with a colleague back in 1995? Good morning. It was 22.59 million. Whoa. And how much have you got left? Uh, 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, seriously, how much have you, and the how much have no. you got? Have you, have you managed to increase that pot or have you lost most of it, as many people do when oh. they win big numbers? Well, no, I mean, I've done something that's very sort of um, um, naughty of me. I've spent some and had some fun and bought properties and gone on holidays and bought cars. So I know you're not supposed to spend the money, so I do apologise. <laughs> I mean, people say it's a bit of a curse, you know, because yeah. it changes everything. You know, suddenly all your friends have, obviously, a lot less money than you do, your family does, you get begging letters, mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. We hear all the negative of winning a massive amount of money, but you've always struck me from what I've read as someone that's thoroughly enjoyed his win, thoroughly enjoyed spending it. What has the reality been like for you? Well, winning this type of money obviously changes your, your life immensely. And it's, I suppose, really, it's depending on your age of when you win and your family and friends you've got around you and what sort of family structure. So I can't really say what's going to happen to other people or, you know, it's because you can only judge on what's happened individually. OK, what, what has been, I'm sorry, one thing on yep. this to follow up. Yeah. What has been the best thing and the worst thing about winning £22 million? Pounds. Well, the best thing was at times I had to um, arrange some emergency sort of health care and it was that great feeling that you can pick the phone up and sort of organise the best hospital or health care for your relatives and, and that was just a really great buzz. The worst thing was, I think it was back in 1996, because I befriended a guy from the Daily Mirror called David Fielditch, and he, he uh, said that his boss wanted to uh, invite me up to the Daily Mirror offices <laughs> and um, That's me you're me. talking about, right? And, and that really scared me. I, I know <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I remember I this. See, yeah. <laughs> it was actually the greatest moment <laughs> of your life, wasn't it, Mark? <laughs> Sorry? It was the greatest moment of your life, actually, wasn't it? Better than winning the lottery. <laughs> well... I'll be totally honest with you, you did at the time, because I was surrounded by media, they were parked outside my property and trying to climb over my fence, and then David said to me that Piers Morgan wants to meet you at the office, and I thought, no, nah, because you sort of scared me at the time, but I really <laughs> wish I'd have come up and met you. Well, it's lovely to talk to you, thank you ever so much.